Now to some housing help for you. If you're looking to buy a home, listen up here. Starting today, mortgage fees are going to be adjusted for loans backed by Fannie Mae as well as Freddie Mac. Yes, yeah, CBS News Miami's Nicole Lauren joins us to break down the changes and what you need to know. And it seems like the better your credit score is, the higher your rate's going to be. Some folks are going, wait, that shouldn't be the case. Yeah, I'll get to that in just a moment, and it seems like that may be the case since where a lot of criticism is being drawn in, but I can tell you that this is really about your credit score, like you just mentioned, Betty, as well as the size of your down payment, and it's truly going to affect people who are low to median income, first-time home buyers. So here's exactly what this means. If you have a top credit score, you're still going to pay less than if you have a lower credit score. However, this penalty for having a lower credit score is going to be much smaller now going forward. So if you have a credit score of say 659 and you're borrowing 75% of the home's value, you're going to pay a fee equal to 1.5% of that loan balance. Before today, you would have paid 2.75% in that fee. So according to Craig Garcia, the president of Capital Partners and Mortgage Services, we can expect potentially even more changes to come over the next few months. There's an extra um, fee that's going to get tacked onto any mortgage for somebody who is uh, they're based on their debt to income ratio. And that one's going to be a little bit noisy. That's not supposed to kick in for loans that they get delivered until August. Um, it had gotten delayed. And so, um, so that's the one where I would say, um, you know, it, it's, I don't know how much you can do about that either, uh, except, you know, talk with a lender early on, get a handle on, on, on you know, getting pre-approved, um, get a solid footing there. And um, and I guess just to you know to be aware of that. And just to circle back to that point that Betty did mention, you know, a lot of people drawing criticism from this, saying this is going to unfairly impact people with higher and better credit scores. The federal government coming out, though, and saying that is not specifically the case, and some people may not even fully be impacted like this. Like I said, people are really going to see the change and feel the effect of this are people who are low to median income, first-time home buyers. Also, some advice circulating online was that people should actually try to lower their credit score to get a better rate on this and a better fee. That is definitely not good advice. Of course, the higher your credit score, credit score rather, the better off you are. We're live in Miami. Nicole Lauren, CBS News, Miami. Interesting that in you say theory, that because I was thinking, right. of, you know, well, so that mean people should lower their credit score right. to get a better rate. I it's mean, just miss a payment or two. <laughs> it seems so counterintuitive. Okay, right. thank you.